good morning. This is Faithful with Elegance for Less. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to do a quick DIY for you. I know I say that all the time, but this is going to be quick, easy, and glam. Okay, so what you're going to need for this DIY is a home decor. So I'm sure you guys have seen these before in stores. I hauled mine from Bell's Outlet, and I've gotten a few of them actually. Really inexpensive on clearance. I want to say it was $3.99. You'll also need a lampshade. Now, this lampshade is from the Goodwill. I hauled that from the Goodwill uh, quite a while ago, have not used it, going to use it in this DIY. You will need this cake stand. Now, these cake uh, pillars is, cake pillars, there are three inch, and they were $3.49. You can use a coupon on it if you'd like. You'll need a Dollar Tree light so you can have some kind of lighting going on. You'll need a glass or whatever you have. I haul this from the Goodwill as well, and this is just a candle holder. I'm going to use this for elevation. You will also need a lid. I've shared with you guys several times these lids, but you can also use the Dollar Tree lid. I want to use the lid. You will also need some crush blasts. Now, I am excited to use these. I have not yet used the crush blasts. So you will need that and it's at Michael's for $6. You can also use a coupon on that. You definitely need your glue gun and you your Mod Podge, your paintbrush, because you're going to need to brush on your Mod Podge. So you will need a small paintbrush especially to get Let's, around these um, areas go ahead and paint i am going to spray paint first and i believe i'm going to do gold and either white or gold i'm not quite sure i have not decided let's go out spray paint and i'll come back and reveal out the paint and i am totally loving that i decided to go with gold because I'm going to add the glass, which is silver. So I think that would be really nice to have a little bit of the gold peeking through the glass. Don't know if I mentioned that you definitely need to have a bowl in order to um, catch all of your glass. You'll also need some diamond wrap because as I'm looking at the shade, I'm thinking I want to wrap that in diamond wrap. So definitely need some Dollar Tree diamond wrap. I'm going to use the one with the adhesive on the back and of course your scissors. So I think the first thing I want to do is go ahead and assemble everything. Okay guys, so I decided I wanted to add some of the Dollar Tree gems. And I must tell you, this project is easy to do. Well, it is easy, but not quick. So you guys know that I have an issue with quick. <laughs> it's a little tedious, and I don't often have a lot of tedious work, but I believe it's going to all worth it once we are finished with this project. 
So I'm laying my glue down. I'm going around where I've got them connected and adding some of those new Dollar Tree gems. And I think I like the way it's turning out. Very cute. See the little spot, I'm covering that up. So I wanted to bring you guys in and basically share with you what I was doing by adding my glue down and just putting my gems close to each other. Making sure they are at the same level. I really like the way that that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and I will come back and we can assemble our lamp together. So guys, this is how it turned out. I love the way that that looks. So now I want to turn my lamp upside down. And the reason for turning it upside down is so that I can have my light glued to the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some glue onto the little circle. Generous amount of glue. Now, this does come with an adhesive, but the adhesive, I'm not sure how strong it's going to be. So I want to go ahead and add the glue to it. And this is what it should okay, look guys, like. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a generous amount of glue. And guys, if you're making this for your home or for a gift, I want to suggest that you use the E6000 because your glue will definitely not be strong enough to keep this together. But for my tutorial, I think it's perfectly fine. Just hold it because you put a generous amount of glue and allow it to dry. Okay guys, so once you believe it's all situated, it's dry, go ahead and add a generous amount of glue onto the lamp shade, just like that. And then you're gonna put it, it fits perfectly in between the hole of these pedestals. So you're gonna hold it in place, let it dry. I'm going to put it on a table so you get a really good view of what it looks like. Okay guys, so this is how it turned out. The light is on but you're not able to see it because it's so bright out right now. Well, I absolutely love the way that it turned out. I hope you do as well. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Share with your family and friends. I truly appreciate your time, your support. Your comments means a lot. Let me have your feedback. What do you think? Is this a DIY you'd recreate for your home? Okay guys, I will see you on my next DIY.